This question comes from Jessica P. And I'm just going to say your name, Jessica, because I know who you are. <laughs> this is Jessica Potter. She's actually a teacher and a guide in the Lightworkers Lab, and she's awesome. But she did ask the following question. She said, hey, Crystal, why is it that children have such strong and realistic dreams and nightmares? It seems sensitive children really experience this. And actually, Jessica, there is an easy answer to that. Dreams are connected to melatonin. And melatonin is a hormone. I think it's a hormone. I believe at some point it's a hormone. But it's a hormone that's connected to the pineal gland. The pineal gland is in charge of not just melatonin production, but also serotonin production. And both of these are feel-good hormones. If we have wonky levels of serotonin or melatonin, we just don't experience life at its fullest. And unfortunately, as we age those levels of serotonin tend to get wonky and tend to decrease, and so does the melatonin. That's why we see people in their 60s and 70s that don't really sleep very long, maybe two, three hours a night, because they've lost the ability, because their melatonin is depleted. And that's because their pineal gland has been compromised. Now, the pineal gland gets compromised for a lot of reasons. But in this day and age, some of the main reasons we have calcified and toxified pineal glands is because of the western way of living all those foods laden with toxins and chemicals all those fake foods all that gmo crap all the alcohol we've had or consumed all the drugs that we've taken maybe some of us smoke maybe some of us have just not treated ourselves very well well that does take its toll and in fact the pineal gland collects a lot of that stuff it collects the fluoride and the aluminum. It collects the toxins and the pollutants and the heavy metals. And the more it collects, based on the more it is exposed to these things, the more weighed down it is. The harder it is for it to produce melatonin and serotonin. And that's just the way it is. The good news is that you can clean up your pineal gland. You can absolutely change your behavior, change your habits, and change your life, and that will have a direct impact on the health and the viability of the pineal gland. The reason this is so important for spiritual people is that the pineal gland is literally the third eye. It is the physical third eye. Now, the third eye is also what we call the sixth chakra, and that's the energetic center that's associated with the pineal gland but the pineal gland is the physical aspect of that energetic center and within the pineal gland are contained rods and cones just like our eyes contain rods and cones thus it is the third eye and what the pineal gland also is is the literal interface between the physical world in which we live and in this dimension and the world beyond this one it is through the pineal gland that we receive messages from spirit, that we receive creativity and inspiration. It is through the pineal gland that we receive our downloads and attunements and adjustments. It is through the pineal gland and also the crown, which is affiliated with the pineal gland, that we channel and interact with higher energies and higher vibrations. The pineal gland is so vital to spiritual connectedness. Now, the reason children dream so intensely and in fact can imagine so intensely i don't know if you remember being a kid you know sitting on your couch or lying in bed and just two three four hours spent imagining all these different things that's the gift of the child because the pineal gland which perceives into this what we call abstract world but the imagination by the way is just as real as this 3d reality the child hasn't had the opportunity yet to wreck his or her pineal gland. They're only four years old. They're three years old. They're five years old. And so their pineal gland is healthy. It's robust. It's producing all that melatonin. So they're sleeping hard and they're dreaming big. That's also a function of melatonin. I don't know if you've ever had sleeplessness and taken melatonin as a supplement. But if you have, you probably noticed that your dreams were more vivid. Well, the child doesn't need to take melatonin. The child has enough melatonin. And so that's how we all should be. 
We should all be having spiritual dreams. We should all be having intense dreams. We should all have access to all these things that the pineal gland affords us. However and again, we degrade our pineal gland through our style of living. And by the time we hit our 20s, that pineal gland's already struggling. By the time we hit our 30s, whoops, it's falling asleep. And if we ride into our 40s and our 50s having done nothing to help the pineal gland, well, it is veritably dormant and you're going to have to wake it up. You're going to have to shake it back to life. You can do that, as I said, through high vibration foods, by cleaning specifically the heavy metals out of your system and in specific out of your pineal gland, by doing things like getting out in the sunshine, exposing yourself to high vibration, because the high vibration literally jostles the pineal gland awake and doing those spiritual things those practices and those disciplines that wake you up i hope that answered your question jessica it was a really good one i love to talk about the pineal gland so that people can truly understand what an important gland of perception it is it's called the seat of the soul it's called the door of perception for a reason i want to thank each and every one of you for listening today to this episode of crystal clear and until next time i hope that you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today